Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Today, in honor of the Ellie's Race 5K, we're going to be drawing the flash. So, as always, you're going to need a pencil, paper, and black line marker. And then today for colors, we're going to be using red and yellow. All right, guys. Try to keep up. Good morning and happy Tuesday. Today we're drawing the Flash. He is going to be in an action pose facing towards us. His head will be at the top middle of our paper and we'll work our way down creating his body in a really cool dynamic pose. In order to do this we're going to start by creating his head. I'm going to be making his head somewhat smaller because we're making his whole body so detail on our head is going to be a little light because it's going to be very small. First thing we're going to do is make a circle to start the top of our head and anytime I create a comic book character this is usually a go-to for me because it's easy then to come down off of both sides a little bit and in between make my chin so if I come straight down in the middle I'm gonna make a line straight across and I angle both sides to it this will usually give me my superhero head or that dynamic head to start with this line right here at the bottom of my original circle I'm going to put a little line across the curved line I'm going to put a straight line to indicate where a nose might fall or actually where the nose is going to fall because the nose is there I want you guys to think of making a triangle that is almost like the bridge of the nose and also it's going to be the bottom of our mask. The flash wears a diamond mask on a cowl so that means it's going to be pointed at the bottom but then it goes into a hooded cowl. Another cool thing about Flash's mask is that he has open eye spaces. So we're going to trace that line, or a parallel to that line, I should say, another line, both that we made. And then we're going to get a little bit of an angle, like we're Ving the top for some eyebrows sort of at the top there, and kind of put it together. This is going to give us the open spaces for Flash's eyes. Inside those spaces we're just going to create two ovals and then you can put your pupils in. Or your eyeball if you want to think about it like that, the actual circle of your eyeball, which is your pupil. Now once we have all these details in, we can create our mouth the Flash is a, more of a smiley superhero. He likes to be cheerful. So from under the middle of one eye to the other, I'm going to give a curved line. And then bring down two sides and curve it again. Let's give him an open mouth smile. Now where we would usually draw ears, next to the eye and down to the nose we're going to make two curved lines that will be the coverings of his mask and we're going to use that kind of halo top over his he the head so if you felt like the head felt a little too small this should be what gives you what you were looking for as far as finishing the, the head off and the face off under the ears you can bring it down to the sides of your face So we have Flash's head. Now we're going to start creating that body, that dynamic shape I was talking about. We're going to take his shoulders and we're going to put them at an angle behind his face. So if you think of them coming from the side of each ear, one is going to go down, one's going to go up. 
I think they're on an imaginary line going through from side to side. We're going to do that. And at the end of each of these lines are shoulders. So for our initial lines here, I want you to make a circle about the same size as that circle that we made on the top of our head. It's a nice size circle. We're going to do two different things from each of these circles. From the first one in front, we're going to go down. We're going to go across the top of it, round down, making an oval. And then this one, we're going to overlap another oval, going back up under Flash's chin. So these two almost make like a V, going down and back up. This arm is in front of Flash, so when we think of the hand, the hand is going to be almost as big as Flash's whole head, because it's in front of his body. His back shoulder which seems far away here, is going to go back just a little bit. And then under that, we're going to make a smaller oval facing straight down. After you have that oval facing straight down, you're going to put a circle under the bottom. That's where the hand's going to be. So we have one hand going across, up, one's going straight down. Now in order to create our body, under our shoulder here, we're just going to make a line going down past our hand, kind of in at an angle. If you think about your shoulder back there, it's going to come down, going in. And we can stop them kind of like a triangle under the body. Now moving up a little bit, not at the bottom of our triangle, but moving up a little bit, we're going to make our first leg. We're going to come out, almost straight down, and then at the bottom of that triangle we're going to come out straight down. And we're going to round the bottom. going to look funny to begin with, but I promise you, it's all part of the illusion. Our second leg is going to come from under our elbow here, and we're going to curve out, but only about halfway. Then we're going to curve back in. This leg is going to be behind Flash, so we're going to put his foot here. It's just going to be a little curved line this leg is farther back. Now first we're going to make Flash's front foot and then we're going to go up and give it some quick details. Flash's front foot is just going to be an oval facing straight up. And then up here on his upper leg we're going to curve his boot. We're going to give a little bit of a curve going in, so that foot's really kicked out in front of him. I'm going to round a little bit on this upper leg to give us some muscles. And that's what we're going to kind of do. We're going to go back here, and go up, up by the side of the chest, going to curve a little bit, make it feel a little bit of muscle here under our shoulder. I'm going to round it, give it a little bit of muscle. So just going up at areas and making them a little bit rounder, giving our outer outline by my shoulder here, going here, I'm going to curve it nicely. Over here I'm going to give a nice little bump curving it. Then this hand in front that I overlapped, I'm going to make sure it's all one shape. Then I'm going to square off the tops bottoms a little bit and make my knuckles show my hands in front 
the hand to start squaring off the areas that make it more of a fist. Going downward. There we go. Now let's give him the rest of those flash suit details. In front of our chest here, his hand's kind of covering a lot of it, but we'll have a circle. And you can show the top of his emblem by making a triangle and point it upward. We're going to make some zigzag lines across his gloves. And then we're going to double that line to make lightning. We're going to do the same thing across his waist. So we're going to pick a direction and we're going to make a zigzag line. We're going to go one way, up, down, up. Down, up, there. And then you want to parallel. You're going to do the same thing. And last but not least, well, because they're so fun, we're going to draw lightning bolts on the ears of Flash's cowl. So we're going to go up, down, up. We're going to curve them. Now, as you can imagine, we want to bring this all together. So we're going to ink it and we're going to color it. You guys ready? Here we go. Alright guys, all done. Now, last but not least, as always, make sure you guys put in a awesome background and sign your name. You did so much hard work today. I'm really proud of you. Alright, time to get back. Alright guys, we're all done. I hope you had a great time drawing the flash with me. Make sure that you check the link below the video today to find out more about Ellie's race and about what you can do to support Ellie's place in general. It's been great seeing you guys, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow for more art class. Until then, bye-bye.